Hello everyone, happy Pi Day. In this video, we're going to be solving a Pi Day puzzle. Wait a minute, is that how you spell Pi? P-I-E? Well, you can spell it differently depending on the meaning. But anyways, we have this problem, a puzzle, where P-I-E all stand for different digits, okay? And initially, I planned this puzzle differently and I had P-E-T-E -E on the right hand side, which is Pete. But then I realized that there are way too many cases to go through and I don't know if there's an easy way to go through them. So I just changed the T to a five. T and five, pretty close, right? Great, so let's go ahead and see how we can solve a problem like this. There's, I'm hoping that uh, someone else can find a better solution. That's the point, right? That's why I make these videos because a lot of times you guys come up with brilliant ideas. Okay, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Brilliant, but I just said Brilliant. Anyways, so let's see. First of all, PIE or just PI is a three digit number, as you can see here. So we can go ahead and replace it with something like that. Uh, something like what? This is 100P plus 10I plus E. That's how you decompose it, right? Multiply that by 11, and you get this four digit number, so that's gonna be a thousand P, right? Plus 100, plus one, that's gonna be a 101E, plus 50. Don't forget, this is not a five, that's a 50, because it's in the tens digit, right? Great, so let's go ahead and distribute and see what we can do with an equation like this. We're gonna get 1100P plus 110I, plus 11e equals 1000p plus 101e plus 50. Now this is considered a Diophantine equation because all these are integers, obviously, di digits, basically. So we're gonna go ahead and solve an equation that has a finite number of solutions, obviously, right? So let's go ahead and put it together in a meaningful way. Maybe I can just go ahead and bring the 1000 P over here to the left. That will give me 100 P left over. And then I have a 110 I, I'll probably keep it there because I wanna keep everything positive. And then maybe put the E on the right hand side and that'll be, a, wait a minute, is that right? Yes, uh, 101 minus 11, that will be 90 E plus 50, by the way, in a little bit, I'm gonna show you uh, the result from Wolfram Alpha. Do you think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem? I mean, it's a simple puzzle, right? It can go through the cases since it's a language model or AI or whatever you wanna call that. And let's, we'll find out, okay? In a little bit. Ready, set, and go. Ta-da! Unfortunately, Wolfram Alpha cannot figure this out. Maybe my prompt is not very accurate, but if you can find a way for Wolfram Alpha to solve this, please share with us the link down below, or at least give us a prompt in the comment section down below, okay? Cool. So at this point, it makes sense uh, to divide everything by 10, right? Because everything is divisible by 10. So let's do that. We get 10P plus 11I equals 9E plus five. I mean, at this point, obviously, you, one can go through pretty much all the cases but we need to simplify this so we don't have to go through a ton of cases. Make sense? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at this, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually split one of the i's, so why don't I just write this as 10i plus i, so that I can factor it out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and factor out the 10 times p plus i, and then this i will be separated, but don't worry, we're gonna take care of that. Because what we're about to do is something that we apply to um, Diophantine equations. And I made a video about Diophantine equations. If I can find the link and don't, uh, you know, don't forget, uh, I will share the link down below, okay? Or somewhere, I don't know, maybe somewhere as a card and in the comment section too. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna use modular arithmetic. So why don't we look at it mod 10? Because if an equation is satisfied in mod 10, okay, here's the thing. If there are no solutions in mod 10, that means there are no solutions, 
Okay, do you think there are any solutions to this puzzle at this point? Make a guess. And if you find a solution in mod 10, you can hopefully apply it to the general case. Well, these are digits anyway, so that should be easy to find, right? They can't be too large. So mod 10, this is zero. Basically, you're looking at the remainder upon division by 10. So why don't we go ahead and copy this so we don't have to go through this. Okay, let me just copy that. Okay, equals 90 plus five. And looking at it mod 10, you're gonna realize, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Why do we have to use mod 10? Because this is gonna be kind of bad. Let's do mod five instead. It's even better, look at this. And obviously 10 contains five, so that's good. So this will be zero mod five because we're looking at the remainder. This will be four, or you can write it as negative one. It's totally up to you. I'll probably use negative one, and this will be zero. So now we're gonna get the following. I equals negative I mod, I mean, I meant negative E, negative E mod five. What is that supposed to mean? They're opposites. Let's put them on the same side. I plus E, I should put a congruent sign, right? Not equals. I plus E is congruent to mod five. Some people say congruent, but I think it's congruent. Anyways, that's a different story. So try to find two digits such that their sum is zero mod five. So it can be like five and zero, but guess what? Uh, what was the original problem? Let's remember that. Pi times 11 is PE 5E. Okay. Can I be zero? Quite possibly. And if I is zero, E is zero. But you're going to realize real quick that that's not going to work. Because in that case, you're going to get like P0, zero, zero multiplied by 11. And that's not going to be P0, zero, 5, zero. Why? Uh, you can tell. Okay. And also, uh, I and E cannot be the same, right? They have to be distinct. Cool. So uh, zero, zero is not going to work. Maybe we can find two digits whose sum is five, because five is zero mod five. How about I equals one and E equals four? Or the other way around, or two and three, right? So here's the thing. If that is the case, let's say uh, we just take I to be, and I need to go back here, 10 times P plus I plus I is 9E plus 5. So let's go ahead and use these values to see what happens. If I is 1 and E is 4, we're going to get 10 times P plus 1 plus I, which is 1, equals 9 times 4 plus 5. That's going to be 41. And that works because notice that we want this to end in one, right? Obviously, that makes a lot of sense. So we could use modular arithmetic even more. But here, this tells me that, okay, if that's the case, then this must be a four. Therefore, P is equal to three. So P equals three, I equals one, and E equals four work, which means our three-digit number PIE is three, one, four. Here's the million dollar question. Are there any other solutions? Uh-oh, this is about not congruent to or similar to. This is about 10 pi. And are there any other solutions? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section down below because this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.